of uh, money and banking. Uh, I think uh, as you're aware that this is basically a prerequisite subject for you. Right? Uh, so let me start the recording. And, and some of you are actually a PhD student, then you have to basically uh, auditing this class. Right? So it's a total of 14 weeks altogether. So uh, I think, uh, have you get the course outline yet? Uh, I, I think I will, I will share with you in the Microsoft team uh, later on. So, but uh, as you're aware that uh, this course is divided by two instructors. So I will take the first half of this courses until the week number eight, right? And then you will continue the discussion uh, with uh, Madam Zaria later on, right? Uh, as uh, we go through the discussion today. So I, I, I think we will take it slow today. Right. We are, I think I'm just going to describe to you what is the content of the courses, course, uh, especially in terms of the topics covered uh, for this semester. And then uh, I'm going to explain to you a bit about the assessment right, for those who are taking it as a prerequisite. And then mm -hmm. I will uh, discuss a bit on the assignment. So remind me at the end of this uh, class, I, I will explain to you about the assignment, right? So it's basically a written and article review assignment. So we will go through uh, together later on, okay? Uh, and uh, apart from that, of course, I need to know you, I mean, in, in terms of your background and so on, and you may state your expectation as well. Right, so 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 hopefully it can improve in terms of the delivery of the courses later on. Okay, so some of you might have experience. I think uh, Sister Amira mentioned that she's working. Uh, hopefully it can bring uh, she can bring uh, her uh, experience in in terms of enriching our discussion later on. Okay, so uh, let me let me uh, just. Uh, introduce myself first. Right? I'll just introduce uh, just to give a bit background of, about me, and then I think we we, we can hear from you. Uh, you you may introduce yourself uh, after this, right? Uh, so my name is Nazrul Hazizi Ben Uh I'm just uh, actually joined IABF uh, in November last year. So uh, after finishing my uh, doctoral study at INSEAF uh, in 2021, right? so I'm just I'm very new. Uh, and before this, uh, like many of you, I did also the master program in IABF. Uh, I completed the master program in 2017. 2017. Before I joined uh, IBF as a master's student, I have, uh, I have a few work experience, several years of experience. Uh, I, my first uh, job after my degree is basically uh, uh, with uh, KPMG Malaysia and our auditing company, a big four, one of the big four auditing company uh, in Malaysia, where I had uh, opportunity to assist uh, the introduction of the uh, GST, Good and Services Tax Compliance at that time. And then uh, I decided to continue my study in Islamic Banking and Finance. So, uh, and then uh, during my study, in transition between I did my master and my, uh, my doctoral study, PhD, I got an uh, opportunity to join the Islamic Financial Services Board uh, uh, is um, as uh, later on I will introduce you uh, with uh, IFSB. IFSB is basically a standard uh, setting organization that are concerned for Islamic banking and uh, finance industry uh, all over the world, right? So I did my research uh, fellowship there for about one year and a half before I got an offer to do my uh, PhD at INSEAF. Uh, later in 2019, right? my 
uh, research interest is basically uh, on sustainable, sustainable and responsible finance. Uh, I think uh, most of you have a common interest as well, so it's good that we can have a discussion on this later on when we approach the uh, topics, right? Uh, and then uh, I think now I think it's enough for me. For me, uh, I think we can hear from uh, Bailo first. Bailo, can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Assalamu so just okay. Salam warahmatullah. So you introduce where you come from and then what is your academic background, your work uh, experience, and okay. so on. Okay. Um, so basically, my name is uh, Jallo Mamadou Bailo, and I'm from. Guinea Conakry, uh, West Africa, but I'm uh, residing right now in Saudi Arabia. Um, I'm, I was Saudi. studying in Saudi Arabia. I did, yeah, I did my um, my uh, bachelor here in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca Umar Qura University. Uh, oh, my background, like uh, I, <clears throat> I did here Islamic studies, um, mm -hmm. so. I'm new to, to this major like uh, finance, Islamic finance, but I really wanna um, uh, wanna know it and wanna study it. When uh, when did so you finish your study, your bachelor study? I, I, yeah. yeah, I finished last year, last year like in 2021. Like, oh, okay. Um, on right. May May 2021, like I'm really a fresh freshman. So you you continue with uh, master uh, right yeah. away. Yeah, right. Are you now. working at at the moment? No, I'm not working. Not working. So no. you are you are you coming here uh, to to the campus? Yes. Yeah. Soon? Inshallah, I, I I booked my ticket today. Inshallah, I will be Inshallah. going there um, next week. Evening. Yeah. They are opening the border uh, on first April. Yeah? First April, they yeah. stated. it. Oh, so okay, I, that's good. Yeah. So hopefully the the procedure will be uh, I mean less. Uh, complex now in terms yeah, of right. getting you a quarantine and so on. So hopefully okay. you will be able to get here smoothly. Inshallah, Inshallah. Allah make it easy your journey. Inshallah, maybe maybe on Monday next Monday I will be able to be um to be there. Inshallah. Okay, like, that's uh, that's good. Not, yeah, not this Monday, but maybe the the next one. This Monday. Inshallah. All right. Okay. Huh. Thanks. Thanks very very by law. So you yeah. you welcome. Okay. So uh, we we call you by law. Right? Is it Bailo your first name? Your... No, it's Jallo. 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 That's how you yeah. pronounce it. Jallo. Yeah, Jallo. Yeah. Jallo. But you, but, but you can call me Bailo or Jallo. It's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you, okay. Professor. Thank you. Uh, Brother you may want to introduce yourself again with, to others. Yes, sure. Uh, this is Niaz. I'm from Bangladesh. I got my master's from the Department of Development Studies from University of Dhaka. Then I became a professional. Then I worked in different, uh, I worked as a lecturer, in fact, in a private university here in Dhaka. Mm -hmm. Then I joined uh, IDB BISCW, a voluntary organization. And after that, I joined another American company. Uh, and I am working there as the research coordinator. And I am also a full-time freelancer, uh, out, outsourcing professional. Okay. So this right. is what I am. And I just uh, came here four days ago. I'm doing, <laughs> spending home quarantine. So, but thank you. you, you'll be staying on on campus now uh, after uh, this. Uh, uh, hopefully, I will try my okay. best. Right. I haven't booked yet. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I was staying uh, uh, on campus as well when I did my my master. Okay. So basically, uh, in uh, in the on campus or in the hostel they call it Mahala. Yes. You basically uh, for a postgrad stu uh, student, you will have your own room. Mm -hmm. So so it's much more convenient. So, so you don't have to mix with uh, other students, uh, especially at, during this uh, pandemic, right? So you so, pretty much have your own space. So yes, so sir. hopefully. So uh, is the uh, <laughs> sorry for asking this yeah. question? Is the toilet attached in those rooms or a toilet? Is <laughs> no, no, no. You uh, you you will get to know it more later on. No, it, it'll, <laughs> not, it'll not. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's a shared uh, facilities with others, okay. but you get your own room, so it's okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Uh, and we can hear from our sister Amira. Sister Amira. Yes, my name is Tuan Amira Diana. I'm from Malaysia, basically. Right now, I'm working as a lawyer. I oh, graduated from UIA, I think, two thousand fourteen. Oh, long. Um, <laughs> how many years? Um, almost seven. More years. Yeah. <laughs> almost seven years. Alright. Yeah. And then. I'm after I finish after I graduated from UIE. Okay. I start my chambering and then I work as a lawyer until today. Okay. All right. So why why but why you have to take this uh, courses? Uh, I mean Amira or Diana? I call it. Amira. Amira. Are you ca- I would prefer to call me Amira, but Amira. If, whatever you can call me. As <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, Amira, why, 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 uh, why you have to take this uh, courses again? Because, uh, because your your legal background is is not related to banking and finance. And actually, I'm very interested in Islamic banking since in my uh, in when I uh, in my uh, what degree course? time uh, degree time because we have okay. a subject. Islamic uh-huh. banking and so on, but okay. I only know a little bit of it. So mm-hmm. when we learn, we know that the more we learn, the more we don't know. <laughs> so yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah. That's, so that's I, true. Uh, so then it kind of catch my interest on the Islamic banking because not so many people, especially Malaysia, know uh, mm. what are why are the Islamic banking is different from the conventional. Plus, right. I also involved with a lot of loan documentation, so mm-hmm. I always uh, persuade my client to go mm. for the Islamic banking, although they are Chinese and Indian. Mm. So I believe that I, mm. I think, I believe that I want to know more about the Islamic banking. Plus, it's kind of new knowledge for me. Right. Right. So I I think I was in the same situation as you, uh, Amira. I mean, uh, uh-huh. because my 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 background is is, is uh, I mean, co- pure conventional accounting mm-hmm. and finance, right? So, but uh, I think uh, when I uh, when I joined uh, IBF uh, IBF at that time, I I was just googling the name, right? Islamic banking and finance. So the first institution that came on the Google search is basically IBF, right? Uh, because I was reading this one book. I'm not sure whether you 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 come across this. So, yeah. So so it's basically it started for me. It's basically a personal interest. Okay. Because, yeah. yeah. To it. And then yeah. the more you learn, uh, there's a lot of beauty of the Islamic banking. Right. Right. Mm. Uh, people keep misunderstanding. Mm. Uh, why why the Islamic banking and the, uh, they keep misunderstanding that Islamic banking is just a backdoor to riba but actually mm. learn the principle the concept of it mm. it, it it's, it's it's not the same actually yeah 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 uh, there's a lot of what we call uh, a lot of cons uh, a lot of muamalat involved but well mm. <laughs> some mm. people in Malaysia yeah, I think... have to talk mm. without using their brain first yeah <laughs> Yeah, is 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 I think is is a challenge. It's a challenge. I I would say it's a task for for those people like like you, like you yourself, Amira. I mean, to convey the message to the public, right? Because you are dealing with the 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 contract itself. I mean, it's part of your job, right? But but to get people understand, uh, I mean, the, to to grasp the the the, yes, the beauty yes. of the contract is is another uh, challenge that that you have to. Uh, oh, okay. Take it as oh. as at a at a face value, right? Because right. it is it, there's there's a mismatch always in 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 the indus- between industry and the public, right? right. No, right. I'm, yeah. Right. I need Go to on. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, one more thing. Uh, one more. Uh, why I go for the Islamic back right now? Because in Malaysia, the Islamic mm-hmm. back carry kind of grow. So I would like mm. I want to grow my mm. development. Yeah, good, good. That's uh, good. So now, now you have your own uh, legal firm, or you? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm actually a partner, but partner. it's right. very stressful, you know, in a legal firm. It's very stressful. <laughs> 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 it's 
plus after the pandemic, it quite yeah. kind of hard for us to, you know, strive for the mm. uh, payment and then for the cases. Right. Because, right. you know, during pandemic, yes. to buy houses and who going to summon people, you know. <laughs> and most of the bank, they stop all the legal action towards all the default defaulters because yeah you of the they, moratorium but, and so on yes correct so yeah. uh, I, maybe maybe it mm. try to go for another career development oh so you're looking for 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 i mean doing like uh what maybe consultation for for banking Actually, I would I want to be a Sharia advisor advisor, but mm. I'm but I'm I don't I don't take any uso fake and I don't have any money mm. about in, in those uso mm. uh, what uh uso fake so, so maybe I think summit banking is might be one of my way to slow mm. Mm. Uh, to climb to whatever I want mm. because although uh. Although I am a, a, a mom, but I still mm. have what we call uh, something that I want to achieve in my life as mm. well. Yeah. So, uh, because uh, if I can share with you, I did my my, my study on, uh, like kind of a survey on on the composition of Sharia uh, committee members uh, in, mm-hmm. in uh, Malaysian banks, mm-hmm. Malaysian Islamic banks. So you'll be surprised that uh, very few banks that have a, have a, have a, a, what we call it as the entire member consists of people with Sharia. I think with the with the uh, uh, direction from from the uh, Banagaram Malaysia through IFSA and so on, you will you will see that they they always a, a different composition, meaning that you will have a, somebody from let's say a legal or accounting background to sit on the on the oh. Sharia Sharia board members, I can give you an example of our uh, dean, uh-huh. Prof. Usni, Prof. Uh-huh. Our dean. Uh, she's a, she's a legal uh, person, legal background. Uh-huh. In uh, I mean, from he, she did a thing uh, her, her study on 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 legal in UIA from the degree until PhD. Right? Oh, okay. And then now she's she sit in the couple of. Uh, uh, Sharia board in uh, many financial institution, so mm-hmm. so so there's always opportunity for you, even though you don't have a Sharia background. Oh. Uh, I mean, pure Sharia background. So you might consider uh, explore that that opportunity later on, right? Okay. So who knows? One day you you yeah. will do a uh, PhD <laughs> in in in, in some finance, perhaps. Okay. I think maybe anti master. I don't. I don't think. I <laughs> you you you, you never see. say no. Yeah. <laughs> you might eventually do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Amira. Good to hear to hear from you. I mean, we have uh, we have some somebody with experience here. It's always good uh, to initiate the discussion later on. So so I, I'm as it's it's very challenging for me to have to mean for us to have class with this virtual mode, right? Because it's always end up a one way conversation. It's always me who's talking uh, most of the time. But it, but I don't want that to be uh, that situation happen in our class uh, for this semester. Right? We want to initiate or instigate uh, two ways of conversation. Right. So meaning that it's not just you learning from from my stuff, but uh, my, my 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 sharing of of uh, ideas and topics but i would like to hear from you as well right so so you can always chip in you can always stop uh, me at, at, at any time that you want and we contribute your idea your opinion so your opinion does matter right uh, in, what in our discussion I address you sir you can you can call me hazizi in fact uh, you can call <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can call me doctor if you want, but it, okay. it doesn't matter to me. I can, but I prefer uh, people to call me Hazizi. Uh, I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Not, not the first name. <laughs> it's okay. because of my brother also have a Nazro like, friend, so maybe I want to <laughs> to people call me Hazizi. I think uh, that's okay. that's kind of the reason. Okay, all right. Hopefully we can uh, we can meet in person, uh, Diana and everyone. So I think the 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 direction from from IUM as for now. Is that uh, we will have the online discussion like this, 
until the fourth week, right? Because they are still preparing for for the physical and so called as the hybrid mode of uh, uh, having classes, right? So following after the the hopefully in the fifth week we can uh, some of you who actually here in Malaysia like like Amira and uh, brother Nias you also in in okay. on campus. Actually, sir, I will return to my home country after right. after you three weeks. Actually, because I have really? just arrived here for processing the student pass and getting the iCat for these stuffs. Actually. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> So I thought so, I thought I thought you have election in your country. Yes, so you have to go. <laughs> so no 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 worries no worries you can always so join. Please continue uh, the online. Yeah process. sure sure. Well, no, we we will have hybrid meaning that uh, some of the students can join uh, through online as well. But okay. I will be present in in the in the physical class with okay. others who will join uh, physically as well. Uh, so you video record the classes. You will record. I think I think it's it's recording now. Uh, you can uh, you can rewatch the the. No, no. When check, the yeah. when the physical class will start, so yeah. the, how it will be possible to conduct classes both online and offline? Uh, are, we, are we are we still ha are we still having this? I'll be having this uh, Microsoft team as well at okay. the same time. So is is uh, it will run simultaneously, right? Okay, great. Okay, all right. What happened to the other brother? I'm not. I'm not sure. I hope. I hope he will <laughs> catch up with us soon. Uh, okay. Uh, I think. Uh, and then uh, get yourself familiar with uh, Microsoft Team because we will have. Uh, I will post all the lecture materials there, and also you basically need to do a submission for your assessment there through Microsoft Team. Right, where I can give you feedback from from there as well. So, but it's not difficult. I think for the first time, yes, it's quite challenging. It's, I mean, it's, it takes you some time, but after that, you it'll be easy for you. You can rewatch this uh, lecture again uh, after this, right? So let me uh, and then uh, let me ask this in terms of the time, right? Uh, uh, because I think last uh, semester, uh, what we did is basically we sh we bring a bit uh, forward the time. I mean, we start the class at 5.30. Uh, then we stop uh, for Maghrib, I think around uh, se 7. And then we continue until 8.30 after that, after Maghrib. So meaning that uh, you don't have to finish, we don't have to finish quite late. I mean, it's not that uh, convenience to finish around 9.30 to 10 because it's already late. Uh, I would like to hear from you uh, for the possibility of maybe we can start a bit earlier for next week, 5.30, is it okay? It's okay for, for, for me. For, for, how about you, uh, uh, Sister Amira? You, are you yeah. okay or there's any cons uh, constraint on your side? On, on your side? I'm working until 5 p.m. and I'm from from my office to my. Oh, you're working. Office. Okay. Yes, I'm working. I'm still working. I, I don't have any mode for work from home. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yes. So okay. Maybe, 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 can you delay a little bit like at 6 p.m.? Because I, I believe okay, that sure, at sure. 6 I'm already at ha my home. So. Okay, all right. 6 will be good. I think so. Be 6 will be good. So, can we, can we agree on that? 6? At six, we can start at six uh, by next week. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. We can start at six. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, for so now, let me just uh explain, give an overview to you about the contents of this course. Right. At least for for my part, for the first half of the uh, courses. Right. So in, in our first uh, uh, class, I think we will begin uh, uh, inshallah next week. So we will uh, go through the discussion about the money and the financial system, right? We go through about the, about the evolution of uh, money in terms of its forms and also the functions that it has on the uh, economic sectors, right? So you will see the evolution from first we have uh, money in the form of commodity, right? And then it evolved throughout the time. We have a fiat money, right? And then now uh, we have uh, a digital form of money, right? 
so we will go through this kind of discussion in our first uh, class. We might not finish this uh, discussion about money and uh, financial system in one week. Probably we will carry this in the second week. Okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, after that, we will, in the week four and week five, we will dive into the discussion about three uh, important components of this courses, which is the financial instruments. Right? We will go through different type of financial instrument. Uh, for you who are not familiar with, uh, who are not familiar with uh, finance uh, before, or doesn't have finance uh, background before. Uh, we usually categorize the financial interest instrument into debt-based or, or equity-based uh, financial instrument, right? So we will see the difference between this type of uh, category of uh, financial instruments. And then, of course, uh, we will uh, go uh, into the different type of financial markets. We have a primary markets, we have secondary markets, right? We will, uh, and then uh, before we end, we will uh, discuss a bit about the market player, right? What type of uh, financial institutions that we have in currently in the in the markets right what are their roles right what are the uh, advantage or the disadvantage that they have uh, uh, compared to others right what are the function or the role to the economic activities right economic sectors and so on right so that's the about the the week four and five and then towards the last uh, remaining weeks uh, uh, you will uh, be introduced to a, a concept of uh, future value, present value, and interest uh, and interest rate. Right? So, and then because uh, uh, it is important for you to to uh, get um, familiar with this uh, concept of future and present value, because later on, when you sit for classes like uh, financial management analysis you will see a lot of application of this uh, future and present value concept, especially in the bond pricing, right? Suku and bond pricing. Uh, how do you uh, measure the value of stocks, prices, and so on? So you, you definitely need, need uh, to get uh, at least uh, a fundamental ideas on how this future value and present works uh, in terms of calculating the, the value or the pricings of uh, financial products and so on, right? Uh, and then uh, before we end, uh, I think we, we're going to uh, discuss about the different type of risk that applies to financial markets, especially to the banking sectors, and what of type of instruments that, that usually uh, we can utilize uh, when we're managing the, the risk and also when we uh, uh, hedging the risk, of course. Uh, you will get uh, the uh, products like options, um, forwards, futures contract, and so on. Okay, so I think uh, that's uh, that's. I think that will complete our uh, your eight weeks uh, with me before you uh, have a class with Madam Zaria. I think Madam Zaria will focus more on the regulation side, right? Your discussion will be more concerns of the central bankers' policy uh, making decisions uh, in the banking and also financial industry, right? Any questions so far? I mean, you you have uh, things that you would like to ponder on. Maybe you would like to get clarified. Maybe maybe you want to know more about about other topic. I mean, maybe you you feel that this is lacking and you want to add uh, discussion, and, and you can always uh, let me know, right? Is it okay so far in terms of the contents? Okay, doctor. Right. Oh. So far, okay? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. All right. So uh, so there will be a, a textbook right, uh, that you can, that can be your uh, main reference, meaning that uh, if you still feel lacking like in terms of uh, the contents in my uh, lecture slide and whatnot, so you can always refer to the textbook for further explanation, right? But uh, usually, uh, I think what we cover in the lectures is more than uh, sufficient, of course. And then uh, from time to time, I will share a few other materials as well in terms of uh, your for your additional readings, right? Maybe you are interested to know more about uh, uh, 
the research on banking and uh, finance. Perhaps I can uh, provide you with some uh, papers as well, right? For you, especially uh, brother Nias, right? Because you are <coughs> doing a PhD uh, soon. Right. Um, so this is the textbook that I mentioned by Chesetti and the and his co-author. The title of the books uh, is Money, Banking and Financial Markets. I think it's the latest edition is fourth edition, right? But you can always uh, find the the later, uh, the the older one, or maybe the earlier one, right? Earliest one. I'm not the latest one, so I'm not sure. Uh, but the content is because the content did not change much. Right? It's still relevant to our discussion in the class, right? Uh, and then I also recommend you for the secondary textbook. If you feel that is not sufficient for you to have only one textbook, you can always have another uh, textbook by Frederick Mishkin. Mishkin is basically a very fam famous author in banking, right? So he has a wide experience in banking, uh, in central banking especially. Uh, the title of the books is uh, Financial Markets and, financial, uh, and Institutions. Uh, I think the content for, for this book, two books are are uh, almost similar, but they have a different approach, I believe. So, for example, I think uh, Mishkin uh, put less emphasis on on in term of in in term of the introduction of uh, financial markets and whatnot. So, so I think he's a bit more technical in term of the banking mechanism uh, and other parts, especially the regulation sides, right? But I think. Uh, for for uh, introductory uh, reading, I think I'll prefer to go for the CCT, right? The one by CCT. Uh, I think it's more uh, convenience for 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 a beginner, especially in in, in banking. And uh, for those who are very interested in banking and finance, uh, like me. Uh, uh, I I can uh, recommend you some of the books uh, written by uh, very uh, famous uh, or well-known economists. Uh, these two books by John Kay, Professor John Kay. Uh, he wrote books about, um, I mean, he's basically a very critical to the current practice of uh, banking now that we have. It's a lot of he talked about a lot of crisis that happened in the past, right? Basically, because of the behavior we as a human who basically uh, run the banks itself, right? So I have the books here. If you are, if you if you are interested, okay. I'm not sure whether you can see it or not, right? So it's hard copy. You can always uh, download a uh, ebook as well. Right? It's very interesting books. Find it. And then there's one by the previous. Uh, Central uh, Bank, uh, sorry, the Governor of uh, Bank of England, by the name of Merwin King. I think you heard of his name. He's been he's been a governor for the uh, uh, Central Bank of uh, England for quite some time. So I think he was there during the the global financial crisis as well. Right. So he shared about the radical uncertainty. He used the word radical uncertainty that happened in the in the banking uh, markets, right? because he believed that that's the the answer the the complexity that we have in the the current banking system is very hard or very difficult to be predicted to be explained by what we uh, know so far, what we learn in economics or finance, right? So people sometimes get over excited or over confidence in terms of how they allocate their resources, and and hence we, and sometimes they become uh, too greedy. You seen you I think you saw what happened uh, during the global financial crisis in 2008, 2009, right? People get very greedy and so on, uh, and then people, then the market is just collapse because of our own uh, behavior, right? So Merwin King has very become very critical uh, in that sense, right? So because, he, and then, um, yeah, I mean, having a, a extensive experience as a central bankers himself, I think he got 
uh, some idea of how we should pursue a new way of doing a banking in the future, right? So that's why it, uh, the name of the book is uh, The End of Alchemy, right? Bankers, I think, well, is, is known in the industry as the alchemists, right? Because well, what they do is basically they, they, they gather resources from one side, from the depositors, right? And then what they do is just they basically get the resources and then find those who need the resources and they, they just basically intermediate the, 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 the money on the channel, the money to those who need, and then they just get a profit from the difference between the two cost of capital, right? So, so it's very much interesting if you want to read further on this, right? And uh, I would like also to recommend these uh, two movies, right? Because I always uh, believe that learning is not just through readings, right? Uh, it can happen through the discussion about your friends, I mean, in terms of your interests and so on. Uh, there's, a, there's a good movie. Have you watched this two movie, a Big Shot? Uh, Nias, have you, have you heard this movie before? The big no, doctor. <laughs> no, no. So you, you, you can watch this uh, through Netflix. Uh, you have Netflix in your, in your. I don't, I don't think you have. <laughs> no, <Mahina Mahala>. <laughs> <laughs> so you can watch this. What big shot is about? Um, is about a guy. Uh, no, he's a doctor by the name of Michael Berry. Okay. Interestingly, Michael Berry is basically a physician. You see, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a. He's a He's a doctor by practice, right? But but after that, uh, after that, he joined uh, to become an asset manager because he's very good in numbers, right? So what happened is that uh, Doctor Michael Berry predicted that uh, the that the the residential markets in 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 US at that time will collapse, right? Because the thing is that because the the banks keep issuing this what we call as the subprime mortgages or loans to those people who actually cannot afford to pay the repayments right but the banks because of the excess of liquidity that they have in the markets right because of these uh, bankers who basically get uh, incentivized or they get their remuneration based on the sales that they make right how much how much loan they have signed for their customers basically so they are pushing this a lot of this loans to those who are actually are not uh, credit wor worthy in the sense of they cannot actually repay this uh, loans. Uh, let, uh, hold on, uh, let me invite this brother to join. Okay, all right. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, brother. Okay. So, uh, can you, okay, all right. What's your name, uh, sister? Sundus Abdinasr. Oh, where are you from? From Kenya. From Kenya. Oh, I have a new, I have a student as well. Let's see if, uh, what his name. Uh, from Kenya as well. Right. So are you here? Uh, what, what do I call you, Sundus? Abdinasr. Abdinasr. Yes. Well, uh, you, you are here? In Malaysia or you're in Kenya? No, I'm here in Malaysia. Okay, all right. So where are you now? In in campus? Yeah, in my mahalla. Oh, okay, all right. I went to the uh, class, but I did not find anyone. I came back now. Oh, you thought there's a physical class? The yeah. office did, did not email you? No, they did not oh, email. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, because I just got your your name, uh, I think around five thirty just now from the office. Yeah. Because I think you just registered, right? So yeah. and then I quickly added you in the group, and then uh, I thought that you were informed that we having uh, classes for online during uh, you via online classes for the first four weeks, right? In the fifth week, then we can go for uh, physical, right? For the first week? Yeah, for the first four weeks. Oh. For, for the first four weeks, we will have this uh, virtual class using this Microsoft team. Okay. Okay, right? And then after the, the fifth week, we can we can meet uh, physically, inshallah, right? Inshallah. Okay, so we, I think, have started uh, uh, a bit on the introduction of the contents for, the, for, for this uh, course. 
I think you can rewatch uh, the the recording again, yeah, uh, Abdul Nasir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So where was I? Okay. About about this uh, guy by the name of Michael Burry, right? So he predicted that the 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 the, the U.S. residential property uh, market will collapse in 2008, right? Because of the lavish uh, lending by the banks, by the by the big banks in in the, in the U.S., right? So he he went to bet against the markets. So he called a shot for for the for the uh, for the uh, for the for the sub, subprime uh, loan uh, markets at that time. So basically, he will get a return. We got a lot of money if the markets goes upside down, right? So so he so apparently that his prediction was right. So eventually he got a lot of money and then the others, uh, investors, it triggered the, the, the market outside the US as, as well at that time, to some extent here in Malaysia. But we, I think we didn't get the hit quite uh, worse compared to other countries. Right? So it's a very interesting movie about Big Shot. You can learn, I mean, there's a lot of uh, financial jargons uh, introduced in the movie. So So for you to... You can is I think it's a one way for you to learn about the about the mechanism or how the financial market works as well through the movie. Right? Margin call also uh, revolve around the the same uh, time period uh, for during the uh, 2008 2009 financial crisis. Okay. So uh, I, we try to finish uh, by eight uh, today, right? And then we continue our discussion. Uh, uh, let, uh, next week. So meaning for next week, we start at 6 and then we stop perhaps uh, for Maghrib. Uh, now Maghrib is 7.20 uh, something, right? So we can stop at 7.30 and then we continue at 8 until 8.30, right? Okay, so this is basically the assessment uh, for you, for who are taking this as prerequisite but not for brother nias of course right but brother nias i think is you can always do you can always uh, participate as well you can attempt uh, the 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 article review so sure. so pro, so you can basically review the the articles who are related to your study sure. I, I heard that you are you you are interested to look at the the micro Financial institutions, right? Yeah, so, sure. so you can, you can for you, uh, you will review uh, a lot of academic articles, right? You can share with me, and then it become it can be part of your uh, research proposal later on, right? But you, of course, you will not get uh, assessed in this uh, course. Right. But I, but is I can share the, the the my feedback as well if you provide me with your writing on the article review, right? Yeah, sure, sure, thank you. So. So for my part, it will be 30% of your article review. At the end of uh, this, uh, classes, uh, this class, I, I will explain, uh, we will discuss a bit more on the, on the article uh, review. Uh, and then uh, for Madam Zaria part, I think it's going to be the same. There will be article review as well, worth uh, 30%. And then uh, you will be having your final exam um, 40%. For the final exam, you are not sure yet whether there will be a physical exam or a virtual exam like uh, last semester. So last semester, we did like this. We have an exam through uh, Microsoft Teams. Right? Then uh, then uh, we, then the submission also go through, went through Microsoft Teams. Right? Uh, I think that's all for the uh, for the introduction for to the courses. Uh, so welcome to the first class of money and banking. Uh, hopefully we will survive for the next uh, eight weeks, perhaps. Right. And the weather is is quite uh, bad nowadays. Right. Hopefully you guys are being uh, in a safe uh, condition. Inshallah. Um, anyone would like to, uh, or oh, before that, I think, I think I want to get to know, uh, brother, brother, or si are you brother or sister, Abdul Nasir? 
I don't get your your full name. Someone call. You hear me? Oh, it's a, it's a it's a Margaret time, right? It's an Azan. So let's let's uh, stop for a while for Azan, and then after this, the uh, Nasir, you can introduce yourself, right? Can you can you talk now, uh the Are you not are you are you in are you here with us at the moment? Okay, it's fine. I think I think we I, I, we can we can uh, speak uh, better. Um, doctor, I wanna I wanna know what where where can we get the the books that you suggested? Oh, okay. Uh, Balu, Balu, uh, you can um uh, find um the books from online i mean it's uh, i mean it's not right for me to share the books because i don't have the copyrights right but you can ask around people there's a there's a way uh, you can download the the books uh, ebooks from from certain uh, website right you can uh, get uh, i mean the hard copy is quite expensive because the book is very big it's it's very thick right so um, I don't recommend you to buy anyway because you, you're going to use it for for this semester only. I will recommend you to buy a books that are related to Islamic banking, right? But uh, later on, I will share with you how to uh, download the ebooks. Yeah, you can you can you can uh, personally WhatsApp to me, right? I can teach you how to download the the books, right? Because I'm just uh, I'm just concerned about the the copyright. I mean, it's not right to to share because of, because I yeah. don't have the, the copyright, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. How about so, the book that you said about uh, the Islamic banking? Oh, that one. I think you will use it in other classes. But don't worry. I, I I'll snap a picture or whatnot. Perhaps I can share with you. But you don't have you don't we don't need to use it now, right? Mm -hmm. Because our discussion is more about the about the banking and and uh, other financial market practices uh, not we we not discuss much about the the islamic banking instrument and whatnot but more into general uh, banking instruments and financial instruments okay so just to get your 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 concept about the banking first right the principle of the banking first before you learn about the islamic banking products and whatnot in the next class right? 
I think I think in the next in the next after you finish this prerequisite, you will have like subjects like uh, summit banking products and and some, something like that. Right? Transition in summit banking finance. That is when you learn the, the Islamic financial instruments, right? For this class, however, we we. We will we will discuss a bit about the difference between uh, conventional and banking uh, practices, of course, but we will focus more on the on the fundamental concept of uh, itself rather than this focus on the specific uh, Islamic product one. Okay. 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 I get it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So for the uh, can can I share with you before we before we dismiss today? Can I share with you the the assignment first? Right. So this is the the return assignment. The, I will share the document in the in the Microsoft Teams. Right. So it's basically an article review. Have you done an article review before? Uh, I'm sure that you. I have done it. You have done it. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, how about Amira? Hey, Sister Amira, you you've done it before? Article review. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Seven Very. Years seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> If yeah, if if yeah, seven years ago, yeah. Okay, that's that's quite that's quite a long time. <laughs> don't don't worry. I, I will explain to you uh, about the kind of the expectation on how the article review should be written. Okay. Uh, okay. So, but okay, but uh, it's not that it's not that complicated. I think. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's part of the. But it's a good it's a good uh way to learn about yeah. the banking uh, concept because you basically uh, you know. Uh, uh, evaluating the author's uh, argument at the same time, you need to present your argument as well, right? So, so it'll be interesting a way to, to uh -oh. learn about the topics. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by by Bailo, you have you have you have done a article review before? No, I've I've not done it. Like I told you, like my background is about my ground. Islamic it's studies. Islamic so. studies. What what is uh, your what is your major, uh, Bailo, in Islamic studies? I did um, literature, Arabic literature. Oh, mashallah! Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So let let me explain uh, to you a bit about the article review. Um, so you basically have uh, seven weeks to prepare this. Right? So uh, you can basically uh, think about the the choices of article that you want uh, to do for your article for your article review. Right. So. I have provided a list of sources where you can choose your article from in Appendix A. Later on, when you have this document, you can go to Appendix A. So I have suggested some uh, like financial magazine that you can choose. Right? Uh, I would suggest you to get the article from these sources, which basically because the author is 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 uh, very uh, reputable in that area. Especially if you decide to write on banking, for example, they have a lot of central. They invited a lot of central bankers to be their columnists and to write article about uh, banking practices in this uh, uh, in this magazine. Right? I think it's it's very. Uh, uh, I think you know this, right? Financial Times, uh, the Economist, Harvard Business Review, uh, and then the rest you can you can you can find. Uh, but I'm not uh, limiting you to pick the article from these sources. You may use other uh, uh, sources as well. Like if you decided to do, uh, to pick an article, uh, an academic article, for example. But the thing is that when you pick an academic article, it's quite a bit lengthy, right? But but if you read, uh, if you pick uh, like, like, like article from this financial magazine, it's, it, it is very precise. Uh, it's very short and focused on certain topics, right? For example, you talk about uh, this article. Talk about the 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 decentralization of, of finance, right? So it's very much focused on that certain topics. But but academic articles can be quite broad in terms of uh, the discussion, right? In terms of the 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 theoretical discussion that they have. The empirical evidence that they provide. So, so I will not uh, recommend you to begin uh, your your academic journey, your your postgrad journey with that. Uh, first. I mean, it's good that you focus on the topics you're you're interested, uh, the topic that you are interested, right? And then find the articles that are related to the topics from this uh, financial magazines, right? 
So, uh, so you have uh, seven weeks to uh, <clears throat> to sub to to prepare and submit your article review. You can uh, submit on week seven, right? And then I will give you the first feedbacks, and then you can submit for the final final submission on the week number nine. Right, because when you submit the first draft on week seven, I will take one week to read your first draft, right, and then I will give you my first comments, right, and then it's up to you whether you want to improve based on my comment or you want to uh, just submit after that one week later, which is uh, in the week number nine. But in the week number nine, you already begin the classes with uh, Madam Zaria. But it's okay; you can submit on the, or you can do the final submission in week number nine, right? Or if you don't want to submit the first draft, it's fine as well with me, right? It's make my job easier. Right? You you can do the final final submission on the week number eight or number nine, right? But if you want to get the feedbacks from me to improve from from there, you can uh, do a submission on the first submission on week seven, right? And then you can improve based on the comments that I give, right? So basically, the article review consists of two very important parts. When you do article review, you always look for the argument presented by the authors, right? For example, the, the topics on the centralization of finance. So you might find that the author is very pro or very uh, supportive in that, uh, in that movement that we should adopt this decentralization of finance or he basically against the idea, right? So you always need to identify this, uh, the author arguments, right? So you need to do a brief summary on that or uh, kind of uh, argument presented in the articles, right? So when you do a summary, is, summary is not about shortening your the, this, the, the, the length of article, right? It's always about how you, it's always about present your view about the, the thoughts and, and the discussion in the articles, right? You may use your own words, right? It doesn't matter to me. I mean, your your English or your your way of coming of uh, the the your usage of language doesn't have to be perfect at this at this time, right? I understand this, like like because and if not many of us uh, writing do writing every day, right? Uh, so, but but I always I want to. But what is important for me is basically to get or to understand your observation and your view, viewpoint on the to topics that you have picked, right? And then how you view the, or how you evalu evaluate the, uh, the author's uh, argument. So in the, in the summary of the article, right? And then moving on, the second part of the article review is basically where you present your own critics, right? To the, to the, to the arguments or to the topic in general itself, okay? I have provided here the guide that the key point that you may want to include in your article review, right? You can always refer to this document later on, right? In the in the discussion part, in the second part, you can always uh, suggest uh, a recommendation, for example, right? How you view or how you perceive things that should be uh, in practice, uh, for example, in the financial system uh, industry. Moving forwards, you can provide a recommendation on how to tackle the problem that presented in the articles, right? You can always do that uh, when you present your your discussion and critics in the second part, right? So that's all I think. You, I, I also provide the the marking scheme, like what kind of the expectation that that I would like to see from your article review, right? So you can always read here. You can always refer to this table. Right. If you don't understand or if you need things to be clarified, you can always uh, come back to me. Right. Any so far? Uh, any questions so far? Uh, I think um, the, the 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 instruction for the article review is very uh, clear here in the written uh, document. That you can always uh, refer to read the. I think read the instruction yeah. carefully before you attempt the. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Bailo. Uh, Doctor. Uh, Doctor. Um, has anything? Like uh, yeah. it's basically like um, a reading, um, reading an article and, mm. and writing about that article, like a summary about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for, yeah, you can you can summary is one part uh, by law. Then the second mm. part is basically you present your 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 critics, your argument, right? 
whether you are agreed or you against the view of the authors, right? And then if if the if there is a, a problems that presented in the articles, right? About for example the 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 article talks about the poverty and inequality induced by the uh, bank the current banking practices. Hence, you can present your own idea how we're going to tackle this through the mechanism of Islamic banking and finance. For example, okay. that one that can be one of the okay. examples. Right, but but I don't limit mm -hmm. your your choices in terms of the topic. You can do any kind of topic that related to money and banking, right? So whether you want to focus on uh, banking, you want to focus on capital markets, or you want to focus on insurance products, it's up to you. I'm open to it, right? As long as the, related the article, to mm -hmm. the article. Have to, the articles have to be um uh, uh, we have to pick be between the the one that you you just saw uh, you just uh, so, showed yeah us. yeah this is this is uh, this is the financial, uh, uh, financial magazine yeah so I just give a suggestion uh, if you but I don't limit your choices from from here but what you can do is mm -hmm. basically in this week you can browse through your select uh, your your selected articles your, so you you browse through this this magazine right. So find, for example, I uh, show you here. Let's say, for example, you want to write about uh, write ESG uh, financing. Uh, you can look at the Harvard uh, Business Review. Right. So yeah, social impact that creates a that create a value. Right. You can you can uh, pick this. For example, if you want to pick this article, right. So you have decided that this article is very interesting, that you want to do this for your article review. And then you can share with me anytime. Uh, uh, I mean, as soon as possible is better because you can have more time to, to do the review later on, right? So you propose the article to me, right? You share the article to me, then I will, I will tell you uh, whether it's uh, uh, appropriate for you to do article review on it. Because some... A financial magazine provide uh, article that are very descriptive. They are they are like news, for example. Right? They they are tells mm -hmm. you about the the recent developments in in banking industry, for example, right? But they don't really present much uh, argument uh, in that articles. Hence, if there is no much uh, argument to begin with, then how can you you know provide your own review and critics to that? Yeah. Kind of article, right? So yeah, you right. you read through the art, the articles that you selected and then share with me. Then I can uh, give my opinion whether you should pursue this as your chosen article or not, right? So great, you great. yeah yeah. So you can do that uh, anytime until okay. before we have the class the next week, right? You can pick okay. um uh, like this is one one kind of example. You can pick any topics that related to to. To, money, and uh, banking. money and banking. You can use that. Uh, you can choose the topic that uh, that you are comfortable with. For example, you are comfortable with uh, Islamic studies. For example, you can always uh, find that are related to articles that are related to religiousity. For example, the religious uh, roles in in banking and finance. Okay. You can you can always do that. And 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 for Amira, perhaps you can find something that are related to legal. Uh, uh, or regulation of banking and whatnot, so you can you can always do that, right? And uh, Nias, I think uh, for you you kind of a bit special because you don't have to do the assessment, right? <laughs> but I, I like mention I mentioned you can always uh, attempt to do your article review here uh, because I think this is the right time for you to do uh, you, to prepare for your proposal, right? So you right. can you can share your writing with me. I can always give it back anytime, right? Okay, okay, inshallah. Okay, so uh, and brother and Abdul, what is your name basically? I don't get your. Is it Abdul Nasir or Sundus? Can you can you can you hear me? Can you speak? Yeah, like to... Abdul Nasir. Abdul Nasir. Yeah. Okay, uh, can you introduce yourself? Like, uh, what is your background, your academic background, uh, if, if you're working previously, your previous uh, working experience? Okay. And I'm Sundus Abdanasir from Kenya. I studied a batch in, in Mustaqbal University in Garissa. 
and I took Kuliya of Sharia. Mm. Sharia, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, are you uh, were you working previously? No. No. All right. So you are you are you are uh, like uh, brother Bailo. You just continue from your degree to master now, eh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, good to know you. Uh, I call you Abdul Nasir, right? Abdul Nasir. Sundus. Sundus. I call you Sundus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sundus. Okay. I call you Sundus. Uh, okay. All right. So I think we can stop here. It's already uh, uh, eight o'clock. I think we can uh, we, because uh, like I mentioned, we take it easy for for the first week. Uh, and then for from next week we we we'll go directly to I mean straight away to our uh, first discussion on uh, on uh, money right introduction to yeah so so we can start this uh, next week inshallah do you have any further uh, uh, question that you want to ask uh, just a small question. Uh, oh, yeah. Like uh, while reviewing the articles, uh, first, mm -hmm. uh, actually, as you said, we need to summarize and we need to critically review. Like, what are the pros and cons of the pros and cons of the article? Yeah. At the same time, uh, should we also compare this article with other articles in the mm -hmm. similar topic and uh, compare their arguments? Like this person said this, and that that person said that. Uh, yes, is it yes. also needed? Is is it also needed? Yeah, if if you read through uh, my uh, my uh, the scheme the marking scheme that I prepare uh, that I prepare here is uh, basically I would like to see how your how you bring forward your your argument right because if, in order for you to bring forward your argument it, it you need to look at other people's opinion as well right so it doesn't mean that if you if you want to assess uh, or one article like for example this article. You only have to read this article. It's not the right way to do that. Of course, you need to visit other uh, sources, right? Other other papers that, that have written on the same area, right? Yeah. But I don't I don't expect that you have to do very extensively. Like what? That of course you are a PhD student. Yes, then then you have then you have to do that, right? For your for your proposal writing and whatnot. But for others, uh, it's good that if you can. Uh, go as many as you can, right? Find find a very uh, uh, interesting article that are related to the chosen article, right? And then you can see how they develop the argument and then present your own uh, thoughts based on your reading from other sources as well, right? Don't just simply rely on, on one single article and then just, you know, uh, tell your your own opinion. So it's not the right way to do an article review. Article review is always about you know visiting others or visiting the the existing uh, debates in the academic in the policy making sphere that that you can always benefit from from reading it right. So eventually you will read a lot of articles right on your chosen topic. So it's the same thing for everyone. You can you can you can uh, do the same thing as well. Right? Thank you. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, Bailo, are you all right? Any question? Yes, yes, I'm right. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just concerned about the, the assignment. Like um when mm. when will it will it be due? Is it on the, the mm. seventh week, right? Yeah. On the okay. on the seven week, you you submit to me the first draft. Like if you want to okay. get a feedback, right? I can okay. give a feedback. And then you can improve, and then you submit, uh, on the week number nine, on the week nine, oh, right? Week. Okay. Right, because I need one week to read your articles, and then you can improve, and then you have one more week to improve, and then you can submit a week uh, number nine, right? Okay. So how, or, how will we? How, where where will we uh, do it? Is is it going to be on Word or on PowerPoint or? Where? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can uh, you can do in words. Uh, like I mentioned here, you can use your uh, your you can do at your own uh, uh, facility that you have. You have Microsoft Word. You can you can use uh, Microsoft Words, and then you can upload the Microsoft Word document in the in the Microsoft Team. There will be, there will be a assignment. A I will create assignment letter after we finish the class today. 
uh, that you can submit under the 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 created the, the assignment that I have created, right? So there is basically a, a a box that you can drop in in your your written assignment. Okay. 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 So, right. Don't. So like for this course, we just have this assignment. Yeah, just 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 one assignment from me from the article review. And then for for Madam Zaria, later part, uh, later on, you 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 will have another one as well, worth thirty percent, right? And then you then you will have the final exam, okay? Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, All right. Uh, so yeah. So I I don't think uh plagiarism will be an issue because uh because I I'll, I'll, because I know that um because basically I can uh. Uh, identify whether the idea is originally from you or not, right? Because this is an article review. It's not, uh, it's not uh, what we call it as a standardized. There, there's no standardized answer to it, right? So basically, you can always. Uh, I will remember that, that your ideas is 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 the is most uh, matter to 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 this article review. Okay. All right. Uh, um, uh, Sister Amira, you okay with the arrangement so far? If you if you are you if you have a constraint in terms of your working time because you have, you also have uh, kids to take care of right so you can always let me know if you if you if you have to dismiss from the class and whatnot because you because you can always watch the recording later on okay so don't worry much about the, the about that okay. Any other 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 question that you have, Amira? You're doing okay, right? No, no, no. Okay, okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, all right. Sundus, uh, you good so far? Sorry about that. Sorry that you have to go. You have to walk to physical classes. Uh, I mean, I should tell. I mean, I should tell this to the office. Yeah, they no. should. They should have informed the student about about the the the, the attendance of for today's class. I'm not sure whether they have emailed to you or not. Okay, it's All right. okay. All right. Okay. So I will see you guys uh, next week. Inshallah, we start at six. Yeah. So remember six. Uh, six. Uh, we we come to you. You don't have to wait to until I give the link. Because you can always log in into the Microsoft team, then then it will appear there, right? Try to get your your live dot uh, account ad, uh, email address as soon as possible because it, it, you need those account to assess the Microsoft team class, right? For the purpose of getting the lecture notes and also the the the, the assignment submission later on, right? So please get the the your email address active. Right. Okay. We've, okay. We've how, then, how is that? Is, is that our own email or the? Yeah, by by you, you can you can ask the you can email to the office, mm -hmm. ask them to provide you with one uh, live dot iium email address. Every oh, student okay. should have one. Every registered okay. student student should have one, right? Okay. Because then you can use the 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 the. The what we call the software that they provided, the Microsoft uh, software, whatever they, they provided. If the storage, if I'm not mistaken, you can use that as well. So it's very good for you as a student. Okay. 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 I wish I will email them inshallah. Okay. All right. So you get that sorted. Uh, I think I have another brother here that that couldn't join us today, but but hopefully he can join uh, next week inshallah. So with that, uh, I hope uh, we can. Uh, continue this uh, next week. Our so discussion. This, um, th this course that we, that we took today and um, uh, what we took today, will it be on Microsoft Team here? Yes, yes. Uh, later on, when you click the the class uh, mm -hmm. the in the Microsoft Team, the recording will appear. I think it's, I think it's recorded, right? Uh, yeah, it's recorded now. I think it will uh, automatically save in the Microsoft team. You can click uh, play, just click the play button. You don't have to download. That's a good thing about Microsoft team. Right? You don't have okay. to download and save in your computer. So you, okay. you can save your, your, your space and whatnot. Okay. Okay, how about the, what you explained here about the assignment? Will we see mm. it? 
Yeah, uh, you can see it through uh, Microsoft Team as well. There's okay. there's one uh, folder that there's for uh, assignment. I can uh, okay. you later on you 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 will see right after I haven't done the uploaded yet, but I will okay. after we finish the class uh, tonight, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, I think we end for here today, and then we continue uh, next week with the. You said first... teacher, the next week we'll start at six, the class. Yes, we start at six. Yeah, uh, Sindus, is it okay for you? Yeah, it is okay. Six. Six is okay, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. So we 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 meet at six. Uh, the reason is that uh, so that we can finish uh, earlier, right? So we don't have to finish nine thirty and one not. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll see you six o'clock next week, inshallah. So till then, uh, take care. If anything, you can just uh WhatsApp me directly, or you can uh. Uh, there's a WhatsApp group as well, right? You can use that as to to tell me your concern. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, see you guys. Uh, next week, inshallah. For okay. those of you who are taking, who's is taking uh business, mathematics, and uh statistics? I think you, I'm right? Yeah, yeah. And also yeah. me, I'm taking it. I think I have two so far, uh, Bailo and also Sundus, right? Both of you are taking the. Yeah, yeah. we miss yeah. we miss the uh, the class was yesterday, but we missed it because oh. you were not uh, registered yet, right? So, but it's yeah, okay. It's... We can we can catch up uh, next week on, on uh, Monday, Monday next week, right? Okay, yeah. at the same time, right? Uh, are you are level. you guys available five thirty Monday? Is it okay five thirty? We begin five thirty. For you, but yeah, anytime it's okay for me. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, we, we so for business, mathematics, and statistics, we start at five thirty. For money and banking, we start at six. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. Can we go uh, to the recording for yesterday? No, no. There, there was no. There was. I thought there was no student. Oh, <laughs> so oh. there was no class yesterday. There was no class. There was no okay. class. Okay. Yeah, because there was no registered student as uh, yesterday. So I just got your your registration um, today. So inshallah, we will begin our first class by next Monday. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, take care. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. <laughs>